I remember one time, Nick and I, I guess this was for manufactured landscapes, we drove through a terrible snowstorm to Orangeville that was, I mean, touch and go, kind of white knuckling it. And we kept saying to each other, is anybody gonna come to this screening? Because maybe we should just turn around because it was a really scary drive and sort of a whiteout on the highway. And we got to the theater and there were tons of people there and they had all braved the weather just like we had braved the weather and nobody expected us to come. Uh, they thought that we were we were going to cancel, and we didn't because we were already on the road. And it was a very uh, uh, intimate screening at that time, specifically because of this this horrendous drive that we'd taken, and everybody had been out in the weather, so they all, you know, were in solidarity with that. It was quite extraordinary. Canada is a country that has an incredibly strong, rich documentary tradition, and I think that that is partly because. We are a country that does not have that monolithic culture. We're not so focused on ourselves. It allows us to see the details around us in a different way, I think in a clearer way. And I really celebrate that. So for me, any opportunity that the citizens of Canada have to see film that is made by Canadians, that, that has either a specifically Canadian perspective or has that openness that I would also call a Canadian perspective, I think is incredibly valuable. And while entertainment is fine and, and those kind of the, the offerings that come up that are huge budget, sort of mega budget and uh, special effects and all of that kind of stuff, they're great. They have a place, but this also has a place. And so I think what the film circuit does is allow access to, to this rich tradition and collection of, of work that is uniquely Canadian.